Hi guys, it's Candy, and I'm here to make a very special video uh, just with so much love from the bottom of my heart um, in honor of and to celebrate a very special girl named Talia Castellano who is also known as Talia Joy 18 here on YouTube and if you don't know who she is uh, she just became this sparkling little, just this little sparkly girl that became a worldwide sensation for her her spunky battle and optimism through her fight with cancer and through her 13 years, she battled cancer, almost half of them. And uh, Talia's battle with cancer finally ended. And um, I just hope she's dancing in heaven right now. Just with so much joy and love than, uh, that could ever be felt here on earth. I know that she captured so many people's hearts and you just couldn't help but fall in love with her when you met her and I know that I I did. I fell in love with her before I even got to meet her. Uh, I got to meet her at IMATS and when I got to meet her she's just so tiny and so cute. I just wanted to hold her and put her in my purse. Um, and she sent me a message a long time ago on Facebook and she said that I was she just loved me and I was one of her favorite people and I was just so honored to have a little bit of peace and sparkle in her heart and she had done an interview a while ago and I watched it and she said in there, she said that um, the two favorite people she would always love, love, love was um, Michelle Fawn and myself. I really, really love the way Candy Johnson just brings a smile to my face and that's what I want to do with other people. I really want when they watch me to see that just put a smile on their face and make their day better. And I was just so honored to know that I could be a little sparkle in her heart and know that maybe I could make her smile, whether it was a silly rainbow makeup face tutorial I was doing, but I could add a little sparkle to her heart in the middle of all the things, the difficulties that she was going through. And she became an inspiration to people that were not just battling cancer, but people that were just battling life struggles. Uh, inspiration to celebrities like Demi Lovato and Ellen and Ryan Seacrest. And she became an inspiration to all these precious hearts that were battling cancer also. And I remember when I saw Talia on Ellen, I was so proud of her. And when she told the little story of, when she told Ellen about um, how she remembered a little fish from Finding Nemo, said, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And to know that she just kept swimming through all the trials of her life. There's another precious little girl named Michaela, and Talia has been a big inspiration to her. And um, her little saying is, just keep smiling. And just to know that she's left this legacy and she's inspired so many people, whether they're battling with cancer or they're just battling with life. And I just think it's so amazing and awesome to see how she could affect all these little people and just feel all these little ones that are struggling with cancer to adults. Um, to just keep swimming through your struggles, just keep swimming through your trials. That her circumstances didn't ruin her attitude. Her attitude lifted her up out of her circumstances. And where cancer didn't steal her sparkle, cancer let her sparkle more to millions of people around the world. Um, cancer became um, her vehicle to inspire others. Her Cancer became the way that she touched other people's hearts and lives. Um, I know that in my life I lost my dad last year and he went to go be in heaven and though that was a tragic day and the pain uh, from that is something I just wish that nobody else would have to go through and I just want to send a special bit of love and hugs and prayer to her precious sister Mattia and her beautiful mom um, I just know that I just I'm sending so much love to you guys and I just pray that God wraps you with his heavenly love and comfort that you can only feel from him in the midst of that pain and the situation that you're in and I know everybody has different beliefs and I love everybody no matter what your beliefs are but my my personal belief is that I know that Jesus is my hope and he's my savior and I know that I will be in heaven because that's what I believe in my heart and I have asked him to be in my heart and I know that God can provide you with comfort during those times because I know everybody that was praying for me and the comfort that I felt during that painful time I know that I, I want to do a video later on how to deal with grief um, because it, it's a um, it's something it's just I, I've been through it so I know just how much it hurts and I remember I'll share with you guys um, when my dad went to be in heaven and I was driving home with the last of his earthly possessions that I had packed up in um, in his car and just tears just rolling down my face and I remember I had all the windows open so that like the wind would dry my eyes off so I could see the road 
And I remember a song came on the radio, and it's by a group called Building 429. I'd never heard of them, I'd never heard of the song before, and the song is Where I Belong, and it sings about how this is not where we belong. Um, this, this life earth filled with all the problems and sickness and diseases, this is not where we belong, that our home, our ultimate home is in heaven, and I just, I just, this peace washed over me when I heard that song, and it kind of became just the song of my heart to deal with the heartache of my dad, and um, I'll put a link for below because I don't know the rights, so I can't put it in this video, um, but I just hope that, that comforts somebody else who's going through a loss or through a hard time or a heartache or something to know that this life is not where we belong. Um, heaven is our ultimate home and that's where my dad is and that's where I just hope that Talia is just dancing and twirling and happier beyond happy. I just want to celebrate her life and just the amazing little girl that she was and is in our hearts and that that will never go away. That for her family to know that her legacy um, that is left behind is that she just made an impression on all of our hearts and that isn't going anywhere. Um, she will not be forgotten. She has a special place in all of our hearts. She has a special place in my heart and I'm honored, so incredibly honored that I could be any part of being a little sparkle in her heart. Just I just can't believe that. It is just so amazing to me what this little thing um, called YouTube can do and I just had to I wrote a, a blog but I had to do something more I had to do a YouTube video about it because YouTube is how Talia found out about me and YouTube is how I found out about Talia and the, it was just the platform for her just to inspire the world with her little her little spunky sparkliness that you just you, she was just like this little sparkler in the room when you got to be around her and uh, just know that I love each and every one of you, and if you're going through a hard time right now, just know that I'm sending you so much love from my heart, so many hugs, and I just just pray that you will feel God's just His heavenly comfort, and it really does just wrap you like a blanket. I just pray that you feel that right now, and that we live with joy. Just celebrate that you knew Talia, you knew of her, that she inspired your heart, and just know that I'm sending you so much love and hugs from my heart to yours. Um, I just love all you guys so much and I uh, just know that I know when somebody is taken to heaven you feel like you don't get to say all the things that you wish you could have told them. There's never enough time, there's never enough things that you could have done and I had filmed a video for Talia and um, I didn't get to get it up in time for her to see but I hope that this video is, uh, is a joy and a comfort to her mom and her precious sister Mattia. Just know that I love you guys and um, and I hope we all get to have a huge party in heaven to celebrate Talia. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And that's what I want to do with other people. I really want when they watch me to see that just put a smile on their face.